Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Call the roll, please. Dr. Brian Weiss. Here. Mrs. Maria Bennett. Here. Mr. Joshua Mintz is absent. <laughs> Mrs. Megan Walsh. Here. Mrs. Jillian DeLong. Here. Are there any additions or changes to the agenda? There are none. Seeing none, we'll move into programs, reports, and presentations. Okay, thank you. Good evening, everybody. We very much appreciate your being here. I'm sure all of you are here to hear our community feedback update. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so yes, with you as a captive audience being honest, we wanted to take a few minutes while your kids are being uh, lined up for their awards uh, to provide you with a, a brief update. And I have a bunch of my colleagues and board members with me uh, to do so. Uh, so Thank you. Thanks for your attention. Um, I stand here with uh, so much to be proud of in Beachwood City School District. We have our math students to celebrate tonight. Uh, we want to see an amazing demonstration from our cup stackers who are on their way to a national tournament. We have, we have an award-winning, blue ribbon-winning middle school. Uh, we have the Wizard of Oz, which will be uh, shown right here on this stage, March 13th and 14th. Uh, we have our uh, high school orchestra's upcoming trip to Italy, let's hope, fingers crossed, and uh, so much more to be proud of. We have a terrific and dedicated staff working throughout our district and a huge variety of programs we can boast uh, from our elementary school all the way through our high school. Now to make sure that we are doing what is necessary to maintain our status as a top tier school district, we reached out to our stakeholders, perhaps many of you, uh, to hear from them. A few months ago, our Board of Education engaged an independent communications research firm to gather feedback from our district our, about our priorities and about our communications with all of you. Representatives from this firm, named, uh, known as Burgess & Burgess, conducted in-depth interviews with a variety of community leaders and held listening sessions with groups of our district's parents as well as teachers. Now tonight, what we want to do is provide you with a brief update on the feedback that we have received to date, thus far. And we want to share with you, at this point in time, some of our plans for how to incorporate your ideas going forward. We will also continue to gather feedback through a community-wide online survey that is being launched tonight. You will receive an email tonight with instructions for how to access that survey, and we encourage all of you to please um, provide us your input. We want to hear from you. Uh, we, are, we want to hear from you to help us make sure we're heading in the right direction, and we want you to know we are listening and that we will continue to listen in the days, weeks, months, and years ahead. And so with that, I'm gonna ask my colleagues to start coming up and presenting. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Weiss, current president of the Board of Education, and this is m thanks, Steve. And <laughs> that's not necessary. And this is Maria Bennett, vice president of the board. <laughs> there you go. So I just want to share with you a little bit of our thoughts and what we've heard and what we plan on doing as a board. Um, so we just want you to know that we've heard the feedback so far that, that being more accessible and transparent are both key to our roles as school board members and also the role of the, the district's administration. We appreciate this feedback and, are always, and always look for opportunities to improve and enhance our communication about our decisions, initiatives, and plans with all of our district stakeholders. Good evening, everyone. Um, so in order to do this, uh, we intend to improve our communications by providing opportunities to talk with board members, to talk with administration um, in informal settings. So we're going to call these you know, community conversations, which will be a chance to foster informal dialogue and build relationships with our community. At least of three, a, a list, excuse me, of the first three community conversations taking place in local coffee shops will be handed out as you leave tonight, and we will be posted to social media and in our two-week look Ahead, ahead in emails. Beginning at the start of the next school year, we will deliver an annual State of the Schools address to share where the district is headed and how we plan to get there together with the community. 
This will coincide with the release of our annual You and Your Schools annual report. We'll also provide a separate address for our faculty and staff. We hope to deliver the State of the Schools address in collaboration with the City of Beechwood and the Chamber of Commerce. Tonight you will also hear of other ways we will seek to provide greater access and transparency through communications, stakeholder surveys, and public committees. Thank you. Now next with uh, further information, I'd like to introduce our, our Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Ken Vian. Thank you. Uh, so the districts heard your feedback, as Dr. Hart has described, uh, and uh, about wanting us to communicate more about what makes our district unique and about the great things going on in our classrooms and buildings every day. Uh, through emails, social media, newsletters, we want to continue to share with everyone when our teachers and students are engaged in learning activities such as this week's Write, uh, write to Read Week. Uh, if you go to Bryden today, you'll see a big red barn in the library uh, to get students excited about reading. Uh, we share that students are coding and programming at Hilltop, uh, but did you know that you can go to our website and see the daily video announcements of what's going on at Hilltop? These videos are written and edited by our elementary students. Tomorrow evening, middle school teachers and staff will be, will be presenting on raising students in a digital world. At the high school, students are participating in school and district programming that provide experiences and opportunities around the state, country, and around the world, such as robotics, model UN athletics, orchestra band, just to name a few. Uh, those are all things we put in newsletters on the website and send out through emails, uh, but there's so much more for us to share about our students and staff and the daily experiences in the Beechwood City Schools. We want all of you to understand the care and effort that goes into the daily routine of learning for your children. Uh, we want to communicate more about what your children, our students, are doing on a daily basis with reading, writing, math, technology, mental health, etc. Uh, we want you to know what math programs we're using, and you're going to see some awards for math tonight, uh, such as Eureka Math at the elementary level, or when you hear CPM, you know that means college preparatory math. But in addition, did you know the research behind the program um, and how students best learn and retain mathematics? We want to share more about how we decide what is best for the education of your child. Do you know that we revise our curriculum on a regular basis? This year, we're updating the technology, health, social studies, science, and art curricula. These are the things that we've done for many years, but we want to communicate more with you about why we are making these changes and how these changes will impact your children. Internally, through more communications, we'll solicit input from our staff about how to improve engagement with our families as it relates to the classroom. We want to collaborate with employees and identify ways for them to connect with families, both formally and informally, on a consistent basis. We will encourage our staff to organize assemblies, pep rallies, field trips, and other interactive experiences to complement the classroom and student achievements. We feel strongly about developing positive relationships between school and home. These things can only be done with two-way communication, and you have our commitment to increasing our communications to all our students, staff, families, and community. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Kevin Houches. I'm the Director of Equity and Community Engagement for Beachwood City Schools. Thank you. Uh, while I may be new to this position, uh, I am not new to the district. I've been here for 10 years. And through that time, uh, we know it's important uh, to you for all voices to be heard in our community, especially in helping the district respond to the needs of our diverse student body. We have initiated the equity and engagement teams at each building, uh, a parent team, a student team, a teacher team at BHS, BMS, and Hilltop. And at uh, Biden's elementary school, we have a parent team and a teacher team. Teams have met twice so far. Uh, most recently, we just met with Dr. Jennifer Everhart, a Beachwood graduate of uh, the class of 1983. Uh, we will meet approximately six more times this year and nine times going forward uh, in the coming years. Members of these teams represent the vast diversity pre present in our district that goes beyond just race. Team members serve as liaisons with their respective affinity groups across the district and will help shape the vision for our schools moving forward. 
In addition to listening to our equity engagement teams, uh, we are seeking the perspectives of other community stakeholders from outside of our schools, such as college admissions representatives, uh, corporate HR representatives, law enforcement, to provide us with insight into how our schools can help our students be productive individuals in society. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sherry Miller. I have the privilege, along with Ali Sacconi, to oversee the programs at Fairmount, Bryden, and Hilltop. We are very appreciative of the community's feedback and value it so much. We do agree with you. We are all committed to providing our students and teachers with the highest quality teaching and learning environments. Your feedback indicates that our buildings are not representative of the value this community places on education. We are committed to identifying a long-term solution that will be determined by listening to teachers, students, families, and the community at large. Within the next few months, we will be hosting conversations for the community to offer their visions. We are open to a variety of suggestions for Beechwood's elementary buildings as well as the other facilities and grounds and hope that we'll have initiatives that this community wishes to see the schools pursue. After gathering this feedback, the Board of Education will convene a building advisory committee made up of a diverse group of district stakeholders to help develop a long-term solution for our elementary students' needs and reflecting the community's vision. We know that this process will involve a lot of people and it will have your input and participation so that we can have a transparent process. We invite you to be a part of this journey with us. We thank you for your support and partnership. Thank you, Dr. Weiss. Thank you, Mrs. Bennett. Thank you to my colleagues. Um, our final, uh, the final portion of this presentation is really rather simple. It's just a reminder again that uh, we are launching tonight um, the online community survey. Uh, we ask all of you, please take a few minutes. I believe it's estimated to be about a five to 10 minute commitment on your part. Um, this, uh, this is an online survey and what we are seeking is the widest possible uh, response from members of our community, from our parents, from the wider community, from our staff members, and this will give us uh, the, whole, the diversity of perspectives we need to understand uh, a lot more about uh, where we are and where all of you want us to head in the future. Uh, so look for it tonight. We'll be sharing that via email. It'll be posted on social media and available off of our website. The, um, the survey will be collecting uh, responses through March 6th. And uh, I thank you very much. With uh, this information from you, we can keep growing stronger, getting better uh, at all times, and that's what we strive to do. Now for the stars of the show. I will uh, close out and ask Ms. Miller to come back up here, and we will begin announcing, as soon as we make sure the kids are ready, our Noetic Math Contest Award winners. Thank you all very much for your attention. Thank you.